what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this would be this recap for chucky season one episode four or not episode four episode five little little lies this episode starts with a party flashback where we see an adult charles lee ray hanging by a bar watching for a potential victim i would assume when he spots this woman named delilah he offers delilah a smoke and succeeds at seducing her then we flash back to the present where caroline is still recovering in the hospital she wakes up in the hospital wanting chucky and she ends up having another fit ultimately screaming at chucky's new look after her father shows her what happened to the doll and why she doesn't want to potentially play with this doll right now lexi and caroline's dad throws chucky down the chute at a hospital to dispose of the disfigured doll chucky lands in a bin of used needles and gets a rush from this this is one of the more comedic moments from the episode and then back in caroline's room lexi is asking where chucky is and caroline has decided she hates chucky now since again the doll that she saw was very ugly i guess so we are shown jake lexi and devin rushing to the garage area or the garbage area to find the chucky doll that her dad just threw away and then before looking through the needles because that's again where he landed in this garbage of needles used needles that mean before looking through the needles all the kids say that they are in this together and then back in science class the next day i would assume their teacher is talking about coping with all the death going on and expresses that the students can always come talk to her detective evans interrupts class to talk to the teacher so that she can i guess talk about more of the crimes going on taking advantage of the teacher leaving the classroom lexi devin and jake come together to discuss chucky but don't include junior in this since he has no imagination i think that's what lexi started to say something like that because like junior if you tell him about this he's just going to denounce it and say stop lying to me of course so at in their little group with junior looking on they're discussing figuring out who chucky's going to attack next and then outside of class after class in the halls jake and devin stand by oliver's locker and devin holds jake's hand this of course being a progression for the relationship that's brewing between jake and devin uh lexi and her family are shown going back to her house moving back in i guess and lexi's mom who again is the mayor of the town has a plan to convince the town to pay to repair their burned house <laughs> and she's going to reveal this during town hall tonight lexi's dad reveals to caroline that he has bought her a new good guy doll named tommy a clear reference to child's play 2 and back at jake and junior's house during dinner uncle logan announces junior is going to nationals next month and junior doesn't seem interested in this and he argues that he skipped regionals because of the fire he just seems very disinterested and we're just driving home the fact that uncle logan's trying to live out his glory days through his son aunt brie ends up asking for jake's phone at the table after it goes off during dinner which she does not like but he refuses the text is clearly from lexi since junior gets mad and ultimately tries to take the phone away from jake aunt brie suggests to logan that one of the boys shouldn't be in the house right now presumably jake is who i think she's referring to i think she's i think that's what she was getting at and then chucky is shown having made his way back to lexi's house and he's shown standing outside caroline's window listening to her sing itsy bitsy spider to the new doll he somehow gets inside and lexi's dad finds it and then throws it in the trash so jake and devin are shown riding their bikes to lexi's house after this after she has texted them to come over to her house she's outside by the trash can when the boys pull up and she's outside by the trash can when the boys pull up and then when they open the trash a skunk jumps out at them but they bag who they think is again this this chucky doll that they think the, the soul of charles is in and they stomp it out this is the doll that the dad threw away and of course this is the doll that we've been seeing throughout the series at this point with his new disfigured burnt look chucky of course by this point has already swapped his soul into the doll of tommy at this point when i like this i like this a lot because this is kind of just like an updated redo of what happened in child's play 2 in child's play 2 he switches places with the doll physically by disposing of it and burying it whereas in this one since he's learned some new tricks along the way he just switches his soul into it i like that new addition to this series so far so jake seems hesitant to believe that chucky's gone because they're all celebrating but he ultimately just rides home with devin where the two share their kiss the first kiss and back to that flashback party charles goes back to a room with delilah and a woman named red red is shown helping charles in ultimately killing delilah because they killed delilah together 
Red then tells her or tells Charles rather that her real name is Tiffany and the two share a kiss. So I guess this is how Charles and Tiffany met. I don't think that the woman they had playing Red was a good person if you're going to reveal this to be Tiffany. But Aunt Bree is shown at her counselor's after this. She's at her counselor's office and we learned that that's who she was on the phone with in the original episode. She wasn't having an affair, of course. What we do learn, I guess, is that the secret she's hiding is she has stage four cancer. She's been struggling with on how to tell her family this and her counselor tells her to just let her loved ones back in. And then back in that same hotel where Charles and Tiffany first met, this is still in the modern times at this point. Nika, who is still possessed by Chucky, is making out with Tiffany while a man watches while he's tied up in a chair. They end up arguing about Tiffany eating and then Tiffany leaves the room mad. Nika suddenly takes over her body, her, her body, and she's back to being a paraplegic. And she explains to the man that's tied up that she's not a killer and that Chucky found a way to split his soul and how one of those pieces is still inside her and i guess this is a thing that's been happening where the soul has been losing grip of control of the body back and back and forth where they're kind of fighting for ownership of the body at this point and after charles takes back over nika's body he kills the man <laughs> slits his throat and then leaves with tiffany back at the town hall meeting lexi devin and jake are or back at the town hall meeting lexi devin and jake are talking about tommy before junior interrupts to find out what they've been hiding from him she tells him the entire truth and just like she was predicting he doesn't believe a single word of it caroline is shown expressing that the doll tommy has gone missing this and being our one of our further hints that chucky has successfully switched his soul into tommy because where's the doll at Where, where's tommy gone Lexi's mom is on stage trying to talk to the town and they aren't having any of it. Detective Evans eventually takes over to tell the crowd about a curfew going to effect before introducing the principal. But after several attempts of trying to introduce the principal, her head rolls out onto the stage instead. They're in, they're in shock and awe and terror. Chucky is shown laughing, opening the curtains to reveal her headless corpse in a chair. And then flashing back to earlier in the episode when he got into their house, Lexi's house that being, we are shown Chucky walking into Caroline's room and he switches his soul into the Tommy doll using the Dumbala chant. And the episode ends there. Episode five, again, another improve, another step up, introducing us to how Chucky and Tiffany met. Another cool flashbacks and just the Stranger Things vibes are in full effect now. I, I love this episode. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification in this video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me see any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.